My flags are still here. Actually, you know what? What a new map this is. What we got here? I missed a whole lot of days. That's because Animal Gym's gotten pretty boring over the past few uh, days here. You get two-step verification, much like Google's two-step verification. I have that on my gaming uh, email, actually. Jammers, yada, 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 y'all can read it. I'm not gonna read nothing here on Animal Jam. I gotta be honest with you, Animal Jam's gotten pretty boring for me. <laughs> And, uh, Jammers, your time of joy is over. You better watch out. You better watch out, because phantoms are here for your presence. The Grinch is here to steal Christmas. Of course, the Grinch would be the phantoms themselves. I don't really care about the phantoms, y'all. I just, you know, Animal Jim's gotten pretty boring. That's the first news of the day. It's boring! How to hi, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Dane Wolf here, and welcome to another vlog video. I can't number, I can't give the specific number of what vlog video this is. But anyway, let's get to the point of the news because that's going to be short and sweet. The first news of the day, as you all have heard, and some of you probably haven't heard about it, Toys R Us is making a comeback. Yep, that is right. Toys R Us is coming out of its grave of bankruptcy and is finally making a full return for, wait for it, the new generation. So Toys R Us is only going to be reserved in Macy's, which they usually say is the fragrance destination, but I guess it's now the toys destination but anyway it is now located in macy's uh shopping mall big box stores like toys r us they used to be independent but because they had to file bankruptcy in 2018 they went out of business and so forth if any of you guys remember going to toys r us when you was a little kid leave a comment down in the description below i went to toys r us when i was like five or six and i remember the first toy that my parents had first bought me was the lego naboo starfighter i'm an n1 fighter fanboy here so of course i'm going to be talking about n1 fighters but we're not that's not important that was the first toy that i've ever gotten from toys r us i think to the best of my knowledge my memory can only go so far back into history the time when I was young. That nostalgia hit so hard when they said Toys R Us was making a return with Jeffy the Giraffe. Someone's actually getting Jeffy the Giraffe back his full-time job of saying hello to children. I guess you can say that. But yeah, I'm actually gonna go to Toys R Us in Macy's if it opens up in my hometown. They say it's set to open up at least, to the best of my knowledge, 400 Toys R Us stores across the USA, across the continent, only in the Macy's store, the quote unquote fragrance destination. But anyway, that is the first news of the day. Second news of the day, I found the post on Equestria Daily and unfortunately to the older generation, even though I consider myself being a new generation, even though I just turned 21, but the iconic MLP film series will be leaving netflix maybe forever or for the time being but it's leaving netflix starting january 31st of next year no! that means every episode from start to finish from the first air episode in 2010 to the last one in 19 is going to be removed from netflix because they said something about the license contract with hasbro is it's expiring and if they don't renew it then they'll probably do a full sweep across netflix and take down all of their episodes and i know this is probably going to <laughs> because i know i don't I, I know for certain i haven't attached myself to g4 fam i mean i missed the show but i have i'm not too attached to it people are attached to it to where if they miss the show they would just be emotionally involved with it in other words they will say, they will talk about how much they missed the show. They will sing a song of how they missed the show and all that. That expresses their sentiment for the show itself. I'm not too attached to it, to be honest with you. I still like G4, but I'm not too attached to it. I will still do G4 art in the human version and probably do some anthro drawings in the future. By the way, if you guys would like to take a view of my art, Link is in the description down below. I'm on DeviantArt and I'm on Derpy Baru. And of course I'm on Animal Jam again because 
I done 20% of my persona. And I'll probably post some of my persona on Derpy Baru just to show you guys what it looks like in poses and stuff. So not too attached to G4. I'm kind of attached to G5 itself. In fact, speaking of G5, I need to highlight a few things that's coming to this channel probably next year. Starting next year, or probably at, on New Year's Eve, I don't know when, but hopefully next year. There will be some little bit of channel changes here on my channel. Um, I will have my banner up hopefully by March because it's been down for like, but anyway, there will be a banner that's coming up to my channel and it'll be up by mid-March, I guess. Hopefully by mid-March because I still got requests and art requests that my clients needed me to take care of. And I have to keep my word on taking care of those art requests at the same time working and all that. Officially be a banner for my channel representing my f my love for MLP and Star Wars and cars and all that. Probably going to change my 2D cartoon icon YouTube icon from 2D to 3D and I have a talented artist that is going to take care of that for me. Hopefully she can get that done by mid-March as well. So I'm going to contact her on that and I will leave a link in the description below. She's Russian and she's very, very good at drawing MLP G5 3D cartoon, I mean not cartoon, characters for her clients. So I'm prob probably going to be one of her clients when she opens up the commission slot again. So hopefully she can open it so early so I can place in the order. I've already gotten like my example picture ready. I can't show it to you just yet. It's a surprise. So yeah, big changes coming. So, well, it's not big actually. Some changes coming to my channel. Also, I'm planning on getting a PC next year, somewhere next year. I don't know when, but I'm putting some money back for a PC because some of my viewers noticed that I've been using Bandicam and they've asked me, how did I edit so how do I use Bandicam and yet the video looks so decent like the editing and stuff well my laptop is pretty choppy when it comes to editing so I can't edit when it's acting pretty choppy yeah it is what it is the laptop is just built for gaming and probably not built for recording so yeah that's the little updates here on this channel I will continue to post some more gaming videos so, so of course I'm going to have to put some money back for a PC if I want to venture out to do bigger games. But right now I'm taking baby steps and baby steps are necessary for me right now. And also, one, th one final thought, I also would like to mention something to you guys. I've been away from my channel for like four weeks now as you can clearly see. I only had like 118 subscribers. I come back and I end up coming up with 130 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so, so much. And I'm glad everyone enjoys the They Lurk episodes because They Lurk episodes by far are the only most popular episodes that are available on my channel right now. I mean, one of my videos had 1,000 views, some odd views. And then this other one, this video here had 5.4 views on this video so thank you guys so much I'm very glad and very happy to hear that it helped you guys out in these episodes of course I'm gonna be the one taking the blunt of all the jump scares and everything but it is what it is and hopefully chapter 7 will be out if chapter 7 comes out on Roblox please give me leave a comment below and let me know so that way I can give it a gameplay and see what I need to do in a chapter, look at the do's and don'ts, all of that, all the fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video vlog, please like and subscribe and hit that bell when you do that so you do not miss another video. And I will probably see you guys next year, hopefully, God says the same. So I really, really enjoyed 2021, but 2021 is a bit of a eh. But let's all have a fresh start in 2022 and see what that year has in store for all of us so thank you guys so much for watching this i will see you all next time and merry christmas to all my viewers out there bye for now and happy new year